Everybody loves bread, and it's no secret that fresh bread made at home tastes significantly better than the slightly stale bread we buy at the store. But for a lot of us, the idea of spending all day making bread can be a little off-putting to say the least. But what if I told you that with about 10 minutes of effort and a little bit of patience, you can make perfect, crusty French baguettes at home, and I can show you exactly how to make it fit whatever schedule you got going on. Hi everybody, I'm Graham, this is my home, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the easiest baguettes at home. The dough requires almost no kneading and can take anywhere from one hour to two days to rise depending on how you need it to fit your schedule. When I make a batch of baguettes, I'll generally make two smaller home oven sized loaves. And for that, I'll use 300 grams of unbleached all-purpose flour, 210 grams of room or body temperature water, one teaspoon or three grams of active dry yeast. If you're using fresh, double this. If you're using instant, do the same amount. And one teaspoon or six grams of kosher salt. In terms of equipment, you're not gonna need anything besides a giant bowl to mix it in, or a stand mixer if you prefer, and a baking sheet and a couple of towels. If you're using active dry yeast, mix together your warm water and your yeast and just let it sit in the bowl for about 10 minutes until it starts to foam on top. You make sure it's alive. If it doesn't foam on top, this isn't gonna work. Your yeast is dead. Throw it out and get new yeast. After your yeast is nice and foamy on top of your warm water, mix in your flour and your salt. Just mix it all together until it becomes a dough. Now this is the part where we have a few options. All right, if we wanna be cook baking our bread within the next four hours, we're gonna place this dough in a grease bowl somewhere warm until it's at least doubled in size. You can leave it out for up to three or four hours without any adverse effects. In fact, the longer you leave it out, the better developed the flavor will be. But if you wanna bake this more than four hours from now, I'd suggest putting it either in the fridge, in the greased up bowl, or in a greased up plastic bag if you're gonna be leaving it overnight. Once your dough has at least doubled in size, Punch it down lightly to let some of the gas out and we're going to turn it out on a very lightly floured surface. If you left your dough in the fridge, you might want to leave it out for about an hour to warm up before you start trying to work with it. We're going to gently press our dough out into a bit of a flat rectangle and then fold it up in three like a brochure. And we're just gonna let that sit on our counter, seam side down, covered with a towel for about 15 minutes. We'll then come back, flatten it out a little bit again. We'll bring each side into the middle, fold the whole thing in half, pinch together our seam, and roll it out into a nice long log. Now we're gonna cover it back up and let it sit for about an hour. If you don't wanna have all of this time in between pulling it out of the fridge and being able to bake it, what you can instead do is let it rise on your counter, shape it, put it on your trays, and then stick it in the fridge to proof overnight. Now I'm using a really new sheet pan, so I'm not gonna worry about oiling mine up, but if you're using a bit of an older one, you can grease it up just a little bit, you can put a little flour on it, uh, I personally prefer greasing it up. I find that the cleanup is a little bit easier, but whatever you want to do. When your dough is almost done proofing and it's almost doubled in size, preheat your oven to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Fill an oven safe pan with water and put it on the stove to boil. And once it's boiled, we're just going to stick that in our oven to create a bit of a steamy environment for our bread. Once you're ready to bake, we're gonna wet our loaves on the outside. I'm using a spray bottle, but you could easily use a, a basting brush or even just your hands if you really had to. We're then gonna score it mostly lengthwise three times. We're not trying to cut across. We're trying to cut lengthwise to give it room to expand widthwise and in terms of height. We're then gonna go ahead and bake our loaves for 20 to 25 minutes or until nice and crusty and hollow inside. 
that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button. It really helps me out. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and be sure to ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the stuff that I'm cooking in my kitchen. If you're interested in making other styles of bread at home, I made a video about Mexican style boil buns. I'll leave a link for that right up here. Be sure to go check it out and let me know down in the comments if you make these at home. Thanks very much for watching you guys. See you in the next one.